Phoenix redeemed educational game of ranked Dota. All right. Guess I'll try and do that. All right, Phoenix, do you want Brewmaster, Sand King, or Furion? I'll let you choose between those three because I don't care which one I play. Five seconds Furion? remaining. Okay. So typically, this is my start. Well, I say typically, I pretty much start with this item build every game. Um, because with Furion in general, uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be cycling a lot with your teleport or your double teleport. Um, so really don't want to use too much gold on regen um, because all all that really ends up doing is slows down your item timings. Uh, you will see some Furions disagree with me on this like philosophy or whatever, but uh, uh, in my opinion, you should just be using your double teleport like which is what I call cycling. You use your regular teleport to teleport back to base and then your ability to teleport back onto the map wherever you want to go. And that's kind of how you, you know, stay full health and regen a lot. Um, but you, uh, when you don't spend very much money on, on regen, you're able to, uh, you know, get, get to your orchid faster or your glipnir or whatever it is that you're and going to end up going for in the laning stage. Um, so they picked Troll against us. Uh, Troll is kind of annoying to lane against because he's able to uh, give your Treants miss chance, but um, in game, Furion is actually really good against Troll because whenever Troll uses his ult, you can just sprout him, and if your team Delta splits properly, then Troll is just stuck in a sprout for six seconds while he's. Uh, I mean, obviously his team can buy four staffs or whatever, but if if troll BKB and all, so then his team, literally all his team can do is, you know, like calling blade trees for him and stuff. And usually people are more distracted with other things in the fight uh, than, you know, helping their carry hit heroes when he ults. Uh, so, start of every Furion game, you typically want to just make Treants immediately and scout out lands to see what, uh... My job is to hold top tower. I will make space for all of you to do whatever the fuck you want. Thank you, BSJ. Please make use of it. Thank you, monkeys. Um... I'm talking I... to you, monkeys! Okay, I, I will do my best. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, you wanna you know what? might as well be as impactful as my teammates today. You wanna throw one one tree on bottom, one tree on top, just to get an idea of you know, guys, PM what the enemy team game. is doing. Typically it's, enemy heroes will be standing w here. My W key's gonna like be broken here. by the end of the game. It's gonna so be great. I'll look at a new It just kinda gives you an idea of what what the enemy team's gonna be doing. Then you use your second trees and run out of base with them. Uh, so you're full mana. Well, I mean obviously I'm missing thirty mana, but I will be full mana by the time you make it to the rune. Oops. All right, so we see a willow top. That means that they're not going to be four manning or anything. Uh, and we so we, we see beast and willow top. It's beast willow top. And now we see uh, troll bottom. So they're not doing anything fancy level one. Um, this one's I mean, in usually in pubs people don't do anything fancy level one. Oh but it is something that uh, it's good to get into the habit of doing just so you can scout heroes. Uh, so I just want to zone the troll off of. Uh, off of the rune. I'm not scared of him at all. Level one. He, he cannot trade with me positively in the slightest. Um, so our first set of tree. Uh, if they are going to be contesting the bounty runes, you can always just summon a second set of trees. It's really no worries doing that. GG man, GG. Um, you do want to summon your second set of trees to uh, help you with the block low. Because you can get really, really, really good. Can we just meet them up here? By uh, having trans in the Oh, what's up, bro? I five up. How are you? Oh, well, oh, all right. I right clicked my ruining so some games. Nice. That's what I like to hear. The jukes. So, what you want to get into the Jesus? habit of doing is when you're playing Furion, you want to get into the habit of hitting S a lot, so all of your attacks uh, hit a at the same time. I need you to buy some salves. Very cool. My leaf and limb. Oh, 
But yeah, you should just, uh, whenever your trees are getting low or anything like that, you should just, you know, try and back up your trees and... Uh, you should basically just try to not feed your trees uh, when, uh, whenever possible, but... Not like the end of the world if you do feed trees, or like, eight gold or something, eight gold. Sorry, eight gold. Nice. So, they're getting... Kill his boars, what is he doing? With a wild spirit. We're getting pretty, uh, pretty frisky down here, but it's fine. We're just using our fairy fires. We'll be able to cycle pretty soon because we're going to be level two. This is good. This is good shit. Green. You can go pull. Uh, so yeah, we already have level two. I'm just going to go base. I'm going to buy up my, uh, my Orb of Corrosion. Orb of Cor a lot of people think I'm, like, trolling when I say this, but Orb of Corrosion is just insane on Furion. It's, uh, one of the strongest la laning items in the game, and it gives you an extra minus armor. So, we do, we do three minus armor now. And we, and we slow heroes. Uh... I'm trying to get. I was trying to get my treants in front of him there. Uh, unfortunately, we missed a couple creeps doing that, but it's fine. It could happen. Verdant fury. Um. So we want we want to be able to hit the troll, um, like whenever possible. Right now, wyvern is like pretty annoying for us to be for laning against, but. Uh, First blood. But I mean, it's fine. Like, I probably need you to go base at some point just to refill my bottle. I have a it's bottle. It's not gonna coming. be in the end of the world. And as, as, as you can see, I'm just trying to hit the troll whenever possible. Your middle tower um, is under attack. Orb of corrosion is just super, super annoying for areas to be getting hit constantly with. And I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be summoning new trees until I hit level three since I'm so close to it already. Wow. Um, so usually I would say you want to go Orchid on Furion first. Jakira, uh, I think because, it's actually best you just walk base and fill my bottle. Because a lot of games... I actually think after you pull, that's like the best thing you can do. A lot of games, there's a... Uh, a lot of games, there's a hero that's punishable by Orchid on the other team, like a... Typically, I'm just going to call them mobile heroes. Yeah, you know, Queen good. of Pain, Morphling, Anti-Mage, Void Spirit, Storm Spirit, Ember Spirit, Earth Spirit. Uh, just blinking heroes, mobile heroes in general. It makes Orchid really, really good. Um, Orchid is kind of good this game because it's good against Dark Willow and Wyvern. So I may still go Orchid, even though they don't really have a mobile hero like I was talking about, because typically you want to be able to punish cores with Orchid. I mean, Orchid in general is just a good item on Furion. It's very cheap. It gives you a lot of damage. It gives you mana regen, um, but it uh, er, and it gives you attack speed. Obviously, the the damage and attack speed I would say are the biggest uh, parts of Orchid that are actually make it like really really good, and it just uh, makes really natural build up for. Um, for like a, a Glipnir, basically. Yeah, because you, you can just go brown boots when you have an Orchid because you already have so much attack speed and everything. Um, and you're already a very natural, naturally mobile hero as Furion, so... The wild is calling. I can't believe I missed both of those. Radiant Please go base, man. Like much cleaner Run the base as fast as you possibly can, dude. Careful, I wanna go on you, buddy. Yeah, I got the pull off here. I'm just gonna try and get what CS I can. For the trees. I got the pull off as well, I so I'm just gonna wilds. just gonna start clearing them. On my way. Pulling some more creeps. I don't know this what's guy. actually <laughs> happening here. This is like. Some whack shit. Whenever this, whenever the big camp gets stacked as much as it's stacked right now, it's always some weird shit happening. So Nature calls. the lane's pushing into us now. We're pretty chill with that. Yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably oh just gonna go God. orchid. Our laning is going pretty chill right now. There, there's really not too much pressure we can apply to the troll right now because we're just kind of solo laning down here. But 
time. Naturally. Oh. Yeah. On my way. So basically, both Troll and Carrion are really good at chasing heroes, but they're not very good when heroes man up. So Troll and I both are kind of in a weird spot where both of us want to chase the other hero if the other hero is running away. Neither of us really want to man up. Such a fucking call. In Nerve. shade. Um, and so when you do go Orchid first, and again, honestly, I think, I think this could have been a better I'll game for, a this could have been, what was that? I was asking if you TP base. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to work at this game for this, for the sake of the educational game, because this is, I would say, the most freaking build I kind of do, but, um, I, I'm just gonna go jungle. You can take lane for now. So the reason I'm going jungle is just because no one's gonna be farming our tri camp for like so the next I two go. minutes, and I would wa I want to give uh, I want to give my hood wink a lane if at all possible. So I'm just gonna jungle and call it life for now. I don't think that troll is not gonna be a problem. While. I don't think that realistically we were gonna be able to Why pressure troll too, too much there. Killing me up, please. So, I'm just gonna kind of chill for now. I have three people. Buy my shaggy bar. Oh, well, tiny stop and I'm dead. Scream I have all two. Cool. Good job, guys. Keep it up. That's been my job this entire game. So something I shall keep going back top, and you guys can feel free to play wherever you want. It, it's so hard to do, but you're supposed to micro your trees away from the main dragon's Great. attack Great. when you're when you're Thank farming you, black dragons on the entrance because the black dragon uh, does splash damage. It's really hard to do, but it's still like technically efficient. So it's it's a good habit to get into technically. I don't really want to be he bottom. Has a ward over here, I if the uh, troll ends up pressuring, unless he continuously is sending a hawk. I'm pretty chill spirit. with what we're doing right now. Dude, this winter sniper, he's boarding. We're really not like too pressure to go down here. The troll has already had a pretty mediocre game, so yeah. the fact that we're getting ancients uh, for free tiny, tiny, tiny. every minute is um, a big plus. Okay, if you want, you can pay it. Ideally, someone is bottom to take the XP and everything, but I'm probably gonna just go down right now. I think my trees will finish <laughs> that ancient camp. Okay, well, sorry, stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna have my trees hit the big camp while I push in bottom a little bit. We're getting close to our orchid. If you survive... Our orchid is gonna be the main time that, uh, that we're able to um, pressure and stuff. Nice, Bad monkeys. Let's go. Um, I'm just making space, guys. All my deaths are just space. Level six to cure oh, seven, nine cool. minutes in. So I'm just kind of using my alt whenever my team, whenever I see heroes on the opposite side of the map. Um, it just does a lot of, uh, it just does a lot of damage to the team. Gives me bonus damage. There's really no reason to not use it. I have working now, so I, I can hunt. <laughs> With a wild spirit. That's the seeds of fortune. 
Alright, but our TA wants to start playing on uh, playing on ancients bark. now, so. But now that we have Orchid. Don't pause for these. Oh. I wanna kill Wyvern. Get, get ready on your trap, TA. <laughs> so now that we have Orchid and the enemy team should not have seen our Orchid yet unless they had a ward on our tri camp. Hey, monkeys, so. if you can make any ancient stacks, I would like them, but TA will probably take them. Okay. Yo, do we have your fucking map covered? Um, but yeah, they don't oh, know I have I an orca right map, now, dude. so like this wyvern is <laughs> he eight being words, pretty sorry. silly. So the idea here is I'm going to sprout board. him, I'm going to orchid him, and then I'm going to create trees behind him. Oh, okay. Well, that pause obviously this fucking gave my dead if you ice pack him, dog. I'm going to cue him when he comes out of this shit. But, uh, this guy's a dumbass. Make him use his ult. Oh, he's level five. He's fucking dead. GG, he's fucking dead, guys. Obviously, I don't think- Hey, monkeys, you got a TP behind this nerd, or what? I already used it on the wyvern. I'm gonna pressure me. Hey, monkeys, man, can you use your TP and rewind and then come here instead of there? Right, I cannot Just do that, saying, unfortunately. Just saying, he's gonna get six off of the screen. Okay, well, we're, think about that next time, okay? Think. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> um... God, it's so hard to do this shit. But, oh you know, God. anyways, we wanted to come middle anyways, because it's 10 minutes, we have a siege oh, creep to work cool. with, and, uh, we're just very good at pressuring towers with our hero, we're a Furion. Very fucking cool, boys. Very fucking cool. We have our boots here. Monkeys. Um, yep, I'm walking down. So now that the mid tower's down, mid, ta mid T1 is one of the most important towers in the game, so this has already opened up the map a ton for us. It, it allows us to invade their tri camp much easier and also just the, it, it allows us to invade both jungles easier it, it opens up this ramp 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 it, it just it allows us to walk into their jungle and actually accomplish the things that we're trying to accomplish a lot earlier in the game which is uh choking out the enemy team and not allowing them to get as much farm on the map but yeah, so we're walking back bottom. We have boots now. I'm gonna send one tree to the ancients so I can stack them. This is me like trying really hard. Can normally, normally I don't yes. do this much, but you know why not? For the content. <laughs> um, like the, uh, usually the only the, time that I'm actually microing trees and doing shit like this is when I'm like competing. So. Uh but the troll really is not like very farmed. He has treads, wraith band, or like I his inventory is pitiful at eleven minutes, so we're really not afraid of him or anything. Gonna sack ancients. Alright. Killed him, Coolio. Ancient should have sacked. I'm not 100% positive that Ancient sacked, but. Push, Bled. Okay. I am Bled. Ah, let's keep it up. Um. So, in my opinion, Flipnir is. Just such a good Furion item. I probably will go for Glyphnir most games on this hero. It's good. like the Maelstrom is not naturally good. I want to ult for these three or these heroes, but I'm gonna ult and TP here. Oh, <laughs> did you literally just join to my shovel creep, monkeys? Well, this isn't good. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Boop. Right, well, I may have been a little psycho there, but they're probably all gonna die for that one. Oh, tree! Can you, uh, stop being trash? Thank you, guys. So, I, I actually don't know what's better of going <laughs> the Mithril Hammer first or the Javelin. I usually go for the Mithril Hammer, um, because heroes have magic resistance and everything. like 
I, I like going physical damage on Garyon, so I prefer the Mithril Hammer. Throw my bottle or what? A Javelin might be better. Uh, Actually, no, man, I got mana regen talent. I'm good, GD. What is this guy doing? So, we're gonna kill the troll here. He's Heal. being silly. So I go. <laughs> nice pause. <laughs> So I'm just gonna try and block him here as much as possible. Looks like we got the block. Alright, he's mad. He's going to leave the game or something. Yo, Monkey's nice rank, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Through shady lanes. Um. But pretty much after any any kill, uh, you should you should consider kills like objectives on the Tyrion. And um, usually when you're able to get kills, it allows you to push waves out a lot more freely and actually pressure towers. So like if you get a kill in your mind, you I, I still have a keen optic, which like I really music back I'm not even supposed to have, but. Uh, Whenever you get a kill, you wanna you wanna be able to push push waves uh, and lanes rather than walking into jungle for the most part because whenever you kill one hero, the enemy team as a whole is going to be much less uh, much less inclined to make plays and um, and kind of like uh, they're gonna be much less inclined to stop you from creating pressure uh, through lanes. And stuff. Um, so after, obviously after we got the tier 2 bottom, I don't want to, you, high ground is a very difficult, uh, a very difficult objective to claim. I, I know that, you know, the tiny has been DC'd for 4 minutes or whatever, and this game is just being silly in general, but, uh, High ground is a very, very difficult objective to claim, and uh, if you're ever walking high ground, there needs to be a very clear reason for why you're walking high ground. And um, the main reasons for why you would ever want to go high ground is A, the enemy team is dead, and you know that they're not going to be able to, you know, defend the pressure that you're creating on their high ground. Uh, wait, did I say A or 1? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume I said A. I don't even remember it. Uh, but B, um, you're trying to force the enemy team to teleport back, so like you're, you know, you see like two heroes top or subtle. something, and you know that if you walk up and pressure their high ground, that these two heroes will have to TP back uh, if you walk up to pressure, otherwise they're going to lose their base. Um, or... Uh, what, what was the last one? There's another reason, but I'm kind of blanking on it right now. I'm sorry. Looks like Dude, Tiny has a My people. Come on, this game was nice, guys. It was very much a pleasure to be a part of with you guys. So, I, I mean, I, I was too busy just explaining concepts. I what do you mean you get to play? You fed mid and won the game. I should have been mid pressuring earlier. I feel like that's like a win. Trees, but oh, I, I see. Just... That makes sense. <laughs> Dude, just move to fucking New York, dude. That's all you gotta do. That's what I did. The lag will stop. The enemy's middle barracks has fallen. All right, let's let's go, boys. I'm ready. Okay, guys, I'm gonna turn around and uh, hope I kill them before they kill me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go into phone them. You're a fucking ninja, bro. And, um, <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know. You guys think they'll die before I die? I don't really know what else to say. The game's just kind of Oh, over. I have to turn around. Nature calls. Nice try, bro. Yeah, 
Yes, that actually, that is the only other reason they show high ground. The only other, sorry, I, it's, it's when you, when you have an Aegis or you know, you know that you are, are just that much stronger than the enemy team. Um, or no, 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 whoa, whoa, sorry. So there is that, that aspect, but like that aspect or that idea is pretty much only if you're, it's only if you're like, you know, 30k ahead and you know that you're going to win because you have BKBs or... Or, and they don't have BKBs or something like that. But the other the other thing is someone is dead on the other enemy team, so you walk high ground to pressure, and um, and basically if if that person that is dead buys back, then you know as a collective unit you're gonna walk away and you're 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 already done as soon as you get the buyback because getting buybacks is considered an in objective in dota because if you get a buyback and then you you kill that hero later in the game and they don't have a buyback with that extra 25 seconds on the respawn then you you, you just have such a such a wide time frame to be able to do whatever you want in the game while they're dead that was that was that <laughs>